Hey, we're back here in Austin at the uh, annual meeting of Women's Cancer, at SGO, and I am here with someone who just finished up presenting just about a couple hours ago, and can you tell us your name and where you're from? Sure. Uh, my name is Maria Schiavone, and I'm a third-year resident from Columbia University Medical Center. And you were talking specifically and presenting a paper today about um, the da Vinci robot surgery. Can you explain a little bit of what, for those who might not know, what the da Vinci is and how uh, its usage has grown among surgical procedures? Sure. Um, so the robotic surgical platform is one of the newer surgical technologies, which is a, an alternative method of minimally invasive surgery to the traditional laparoscopic approach. Um, it's a very exciting new method of technology, um, but some of the studies are still in their infancy. You know, a lot of the reports are from single institutions, um, and there's no real great perspective um, level data on, on, you know, the robotic system in comparison to laparoscopic and open surgery at the moment. And your study was specifically looking at websites. Uh, tell us a little bit of what your criteria and objective was as you got started with this study. Um, so, you know, part of the interest came from looking at how um, marketing for radical prostatectomy, the robotic approach for that has kind of blown up and caused this huge increase in use of robotic um, radical prostatectomy. Um, and we decided that there, you know, there's really nothing out there in terms of how marketing has influenced robotic gynecologic surgery. So we chose to look at um, a number of websites from across the United States of hospitals who are trying to promote this for their own, you know, system. Or some of the things you found of the criteria that they were using to promote it, how they were promoting it, and then even then uh, how that was affecting the usage of robotic surgery in their institutions. Sure. Um, I, you know, I think the thing that was most interesting is that there was a lot of, you know, we, what we call stock text or stock imaging and basically things that are taken directly from the, the people who manufacture the surgical platform onto hospital websites kind of presented as, you know, the hospital's information in terms of robotics, um, you know, with not really that much disclosure to the patient seeing those sites that, you know, this is something that comes from the person who's making it and not necessarily from the, you know, the mouths of the physicians who are actually performing the surgeries. What are some of the questions that should be asked when looking at all this material? That patients are coming, and obviously you stated in your presentation that websites are in the web is becoming one of the first sources of medical information. But how do they start like processing through that and getting through and realizing that some is just stock language and things like that? And the questions maybe they should be asking when they're looking at this material. Yeah, I mean, I think it's hard to know as a patient. I mean, I think even before I looked at, you know, 450 of them, you know, I didn't realize how prevalent this was. Um, you know, I think the important thing is to, you know, go to your physician. Obviously, I think the information is good and empowering patients to learn more about their care and the procedures that, you know, happen to them is important. But I think, you know, then taking that, you know, with a grain of salt and then going to your physicians and discussing, you know, what elements of this are, you know, true and factual and, you know, what elements are also just to some degree advertising. Are there things that you would look at as for medical professions and medical institutions that might change in the future about how you market procedures and specifically to the consumer? Um, you know, I think maybe similar to the way now that pharmaceuticals have some kind of regulation in regards to how they promote themselves on, you know, websites and for hospitals, I think probably at some point the, the same may be said of robotics. You know, I think it's, like I said, it's kind of in its infancy, so we don't see that much of it yet. But, you know, as time goes on and this becomes more of a, a big issue, we may see that. Thank you very much.